to Beijing, U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama and her families continue their China tour Saturday on Friday. U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama delivered a speech to the faculty and students at the Stanford Center at Peking University. Michelle Obama's speech focused on the importance of education and cultural exchanges. For more on the latest, CCTV's Su Wu Ting joins us live from Beijing. Yes, Susan, as you mentioned, that uh, Saturday speech by the U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama focused on education and cultural exchanges. And she said that China is currently the fifth popular destination for American students studying abroad. And uh, the highest number of exchange students in the U.S. are from China. He also quoted the Chinese saying that, quote, it's better to travel 10,000 miles than to read 10,000 books. And she encouraged the students to boldly explore the world, emphasizing that the opportunities to study abroad should not be limited to the students, that is the wealthy students, or students from certain backgrounds, but to everyone who wants to improve his or her uh, own future and also the future of the country. The U.S. First Lady received a warm welcome from American and Chinese students at Peking University. She said study exchange programs play a significant role in strengthening relations between the two countries. We believe that relationships between nations aren't just about relationships between governments or leaders. They're about relationships between people, particularly young people. So we view study abroad programs not just as an educational opportunity for students, but also as a vital part of America's foreign policy. This mentor, how did After you make that a speech, Michelle Obama hosted an online I, forum with students from California and those in Beijing. Their discussion focused on how technology can be used to expand access to and share educational experience across borders. It's really our honor to listen to the impressive lecture from uh, Mrs. Obama. She's very knowledgeable about what she was talking about, I think. I mean, she just seems very passionate and genuine. Very inspirational, actually, to be included in this part of this kind of global, this growing uh, global citizenry was impressive. And I, I like the point she kept bringing up is that we have to we have to be, learn how to engage this new world that we're making, and we are, we are the future. We're the leaders of tomorrow. Well, both Chinese and American students were impressed by the charisma of the First Lady. And Michelle Obama has been emphasizing the importance of students learning from one another globally. And her trip to China is described as a gentle diplomacy that could go a long way toward a positive and productive relationship between the U.S. and China. Back to you, Susan. How has she been received in China? Well, you know that the leading officials from Peking University uh, have briefed Michelle Obama to a new academic initiative called Yanqing Academy uh, Project. That project is to recruit more students from uh, leading universities around the world. And Michelle Obama has shown great interest to that program. And she also said that the, China, uh, the U.S. government is also trying its best to expand its program for international youth exchanges. And she said that the U.S. government is sending college college students, high school students, and graduate stu students to China to, uh, to, to, learn, chi to learn Chinese, and also uh, inviting more uh, uh, teachers from China to teach Chinese in the U.S. So and also the, uh, the U.S. government Beijing. is Thank sending... Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank